friends, family, and homesteaders. Welcome back to Ruby Homestead. If you're new here, welcome. Um, this is our chick raising series. We raise Cornish Cross. Um, and this is going to be the second video in that series. I'm going to show you how I change the bedding, show you their feed, show you how I do their water. Um, this is our first batch of Cornish Cross this year. I ordered 25 and Meyer Hatchery sent an extra, so we have 26 chicks in here. Now, <clears throat> if you'll notice, if you missed the last episode, there's a heat lamp. This is very important. You gotta make sure that your chicks are comfortable. Now, if they're all bundled up, not stretched out like these are, I'll show you in a minute, um, they're too cold, so you need to get your heat lamp lower or the beds higher, however you have to do it with your setup. But, if they're like way out here towards the outsides, they're too hot. Raise your heat lamp. Now these are some really messy birds. It's not feasible to clean out this every day. So what I do is I spot clean it and then I drop more shavings down on top. Also, we have divided them into two separate boxes because you can see that they grow really fast. This is their first week. This is the end of week one. Um, I got them at the house a week ago, so they're technically a week and two days, but we're going to say a week. So I'm going to show you just how big they've gotten. Now do make sure that he doesn't jump. They're not bad too. And as I mentioned in the video before, you're going to check their butt. You want a nice clean vent, okay? Now. I'm going to bring you in closer. You can kind of see what it looks like. We're going to be cleaning the feeders out and cleaning the waters out and restocking it all. Okay, and we'll take you along. Just so you can get a little bit of a view. There is 12 in this little box and 14 in this one. All right, now I'm going to start by moving them all to one. I'm going to take this out. The rabbits are also going outside today. They are way past due to go outside. Also, another thing, for the most part, the mess in the floor is due to the rabbits over here kicking it out. But, uh, chicks do cause a lot of dust. If, if their walls are not high enough, they will kick their shavings out, so just be aware of that. Now, I'm just gonna move everybody over. You can already feel the weight on them. Their little wings are starting to get some feathers. If you can see that right there. All right. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to dump it in the wheelbarrow right outside, and I'll be back. We're going to put some shavings in here, and you just want an even layer. of these chicks bottoms as I put them in there. Go lay down. Okay. See how clear that is? One. Two. Go lay down. Just a little bit of something. Nothing to worry about, but if it's if it's too bad, get some warm water and kind of soak it off, basically. 
um, that's three, four. All right, so now I'm gonna empty this one out and um, then we'll separate these chicks. As you can see, they outgrew that box really quick like. Okay, so in fact, these probably won't make it to three weeks inside without me getting another box. So I will probably end up adding a third box. All right, so my camera battery died. Um, all I did was put the, the shavings in here. These are fine pine wood shavings. I uh, checked their bottoms one by one as soon as I put them in here. Um, that way everybody got a checkup. I have 14 in here still and 12 in here still. Depending on how they grow throughout the week and how much room they have, I might move one from over here to here, but we'll see. So, uh, now I'm going to take you and I'm going to show you the feeder and water cleaners, and we'll get that done. So these just snap in, okay? You're just going to take them up off that prong. And it just unfolds like that. Now, oftentimes, you can just take the shavings off, and there will be food on the bottom that you can keep. Okay, if it's just unsavable, toss it all. And this go around, both of these were unsavable. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the waters. Be sure. But if you're doing this in a sink, you have a strainer. Okay, you want something to be able to catch these shavings. Now, I am going to go ahead and clean these out real good. They've been used for a week, and under that lamp, they get kind of, well, they're not too bad, really. But they do get kind of slimy almost. Almost like algae. I just have, this is just a baby bottle cleaner. Um, it fits in this thing real nice. Just to clean them with, I'm going to use a pretty nice helping of the apple cider vinegar. Um, Vinegar, in and of itself, is a natural good cleaner. Lemon is a good natural cleaner. Um, if I was going to say run these through the dishwasher or something more than just fill them right back up, I would definitely put a little bit of bleach in them. Not much, just a splash. Um, and clean them out that way. Or some soap or a rinse of both. But... We're actually just going to rinse this out and go right back and fill it them up. Okay. Just going to give it a good wash down. Okay. I'm using hot water right now. Rinse it out real good. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I like to give them a pretty good scrubby every week. out the bottom because they get nasty too. Okay. I'll rinse up my brush real good. Set it back up. Now I'm going to turn on the cold water. 
I'm going to fill these up. And I'm going to put just a little itty bitty bit of the apple cider vinegar. There's one. There's two. Now one thing I did forget to mention. I have been filling these up twice a day. Once in the morning when I wake up and then once before bed. Alright, now you're going to take your apple cider vinegar and literally just a splash. Okay. Maybe about a teaspoon. As they get bigger and they need bigger waters, we'll add more. But for right now, that's really all they need. Okay. Carry them like this, because if you tip them over, it's going to be a pain. Trust me. They're all about that fresh water. Alright, so now I'm just going to open these. I have a cup in my bag right here. Just disperse it kind of evenly throughout the tray. Okay, there's one. Now I do like these holes because that's the first time that I've had to actually empty these completely because they were just filthy. Mainly they just mix with pine shavings and stuff, but... leave a gap on either side. It doesn't have to be big, just enough till each chick can get to it. Um, I do have the waterers sitting on top of the saucer because they, they, they scratch less into the waterers. Same thing here. Alrighty, well that's it for week one. Um, we changed the bedding. I showed you how to do that. I showed you how to fill up the feeders, clean the feeders, the waterers the same way. I showed you how to mix the water with a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Um, the heat lamp is still okay for now. They're still kind of sleeping under it, but not clustered. Um, probably by the end of this week, though, I will kind of move the things away from the heat lamp just a little bit. All right, and at the end of week one, we still have our 26 chicks that we started with. Um, we've used almost half a bag of the pine shavings, a little less than half the bag on the food. Um, again, for chicks, it's chick starter, 20% um, is what we feed. All right, I'll see you Thursday with week two. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching Ruby Homestead. Bye, y'all.